Hello sisters, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna and today we are going to be reviewing the Always Pen that everyone has been raving about. So sisters, let's try it. The Always Pen is from the company called Our Place. They have a spring sale going on. I got mine for $155 Canadian. I got it in the color Spice and also the Lavender. The Lavender is the one that everyone have been raving about and it always seems to be out of stock. I finally got my hands on one of them. These pens make great gifts. You can give it as housewarming gift, bridal shower gift. Mother's Day is coming up so I will be giving one of these pens to my mama. Apparently this pan can do everything. It can fry, it can saute, steam, braise, sear, fry, boil, you name it. We're gonna do a little test later on and we're gonna see how it'll do. Like I was saying, I got it in two different colors. I got it in the spice and also the lavender. Let's start off with the spice color first. Let's open this up. This is the spice. It comes with a free sponge. This is a natural sponge and it's nice and soft. It's more of like a orangey, coral, pink. This will be for my mom. She's gonna love this kind of orangey, salmon pink color. It's beautiful. This is the lid. And then let's open the main character. This is the pan. Ta -da! And it comes with the free steamer as well. So you can boil your veggies. My first impression, it's not very big for a pan. This is around 10 inches. Yes, you can saute, you can fry stuff, but you can't fit a lot in here. I guess this one is good for everyday use. They also have their beechwood spatula. This spatula is made or custom made for the pot. So this is where you put the spatula right over here and it fits perfectly like that. Let's put this aside so it's not as messy. I really like this color. On top of the lid, you can see that there's embossed um, like an arrow sign here. So this arrow sign will actually line up and because of that, it has like an opening here. This is where your spatula will go, like right over here. So this one will align here. So that way you can also have your spatula inside there too. I like the spoon rest because it's built in and because of that you can just place it right here like this. Ta -da! Very nice. Oh it says here caution handle gets hot when cooking so when this gets really really hot don't touch this guys or use oven mitts or any kind of mitts to touch this part but this part and the lid handle so these two handles are safe. Let's talk about this steamer. It's nice and roomy. You can put a lot of things, a lot of veggies, or anything that you want to steam in here. Maybe dim sum, yeah. They also have the pour spouts on both sides. Whenever you make sauces and you want to pour it out, or especially when you're cooking beef and there's excess water or the meat sauce, then you can sort of like strain it and then you can take out all the sauce, all the water out. That's a really nice feature. Not as messy. I hope you like it, mom. Happy Mother's Day. And of course, I gotta show you the lavender color. This is gonna be mine because I love the color. <laughs> Look at this beauty. Ta-da! This is the lavender version. Isn't this color beautiful? I love this color so much. It's like a purpley, pinkish kind of color. This screams out money. When I saw it on the website, I just fell in love with the color. So I had to get this and I'm glad they got it back in stock. If you want to let some steam out, you can always take out your spatula. This will release all the steam. Or if you want to trap it, then you can just rotate it or twist the knob. So that means if I want to release steam, I have to take out the spatula anyways. Where am I going to put the spatula now? Still on the countertop. <laughs> I see, okay. Change of scenery guys, we have moved to the kitchen and we're going to do the testing now. I have two eggs, we're going to use one egg without any oil and the other egg with oil. Let's see how non-stick this pan is. This is what we do when we 
wait for the egg. So I guess you have to have to use oil for this non-stick pan. Let's go ahead and use some olive oil this time. Oh, I see you, girl. Whoops. That's like olive oil for days. You know, for the handle, the one thing I don't like, it's too boxy. So when you're gripping it, sometimes it's not very comfortable. I'd rather have it like maybe like a silicone kind of texture and more rounded. Around the grip, it will be a lot better as well because right now, the edges are just digging into the skin a little bit. We are going to try the steamer now. We're gonna steam, or not steam, more like boil some veggies. This time, we'll need to use the lid. So it finished boiling. Gonna put the veggies in here. So if you only have like a little bit of things to steam or like boil, then I think this is good. But a lot of times when I'm boiling a lot of veggies, this is definitely not enough. Because it's like too shallow. My final verdict for this always pan it is definitely a statement piece. It's beautiful. They have so many different colors uh, for you to choose from. There were some things that I found that they can improve on. Their handle, I find them to be very boxy. So it's more of a rectangular kind of shape. So whenever I have my hand on it, the gripping, it's not as comfortable. I wish they can make this more of a rounded and maybe a different kind of texture like a silicone or something. I like how they also have the steaming or boiling kind of feature with the steamer basket. But sometimes when I'm boiling stuff and if I boil a lot of things, this won't fit everything. But if you want to just boil a little bit, I guess it'll be okay. Oh, another thing is whenever you have your spatula in here and you close it down, if you want to release the steam or if you want to um, trap the steam, you can only take out the spatula. This is where the opening is and then turn it if you want to trap the steam. So either way, you still have to find a space to put your spatula in the end, which probably the countertop. <laughs> It's neat that they have a handle here so you can hang your pots and pans um, with this but I feel like when I'm cooking and I'm in the zone, I just instinctively want to put my hand here. And don't put your hand here because you're going to burn your skin off. Overall, is it really worth the $155 price tag? It looks really nice but at the same time, is the versatility like really there? Is it really efficient? I don't think it's worth that much. Like maybe $50, $60, like half of that amount, but $155, that's a lot for just a pan. I know it saves space, but I feel like I can cook a lot quicker with two or three other pans. I will be using this as my everyday pan, and they do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So within these 30 days, I will be testing it, I will be trying it out, but as my first impression, I don't think it'll be worth it for that $155 price tag. But you know what? I will give this a try. Maybe my opinions will change later on. I'm not sponsored in any way, but if you want to try it out, if you're thinking about purchasing the Always Pan or any other Our Place product, please use my referral code down below. That will be a fantastic and completely free way of supporting me and my channel. Thank you, sisters! And that's it sisters, hopefully you like this video and hopefully you find this review helpful and I'll see you in my next one. Bye sisters! You can give it as a housewarming gift, uh, I'm gonna give it a gift.